It's Friday, the 12th of June, and by right, this time of the evening, I would normally be uh, doing some work, uh, but I just came back from a physiotherapy session for my back. So a week ago, uh, I started having issues with my back, and uh, basically, I just had to stop working here. Uh, so got some meds and feeling quite better. Did a little bit of work yesterday, which was fine, uh, but after getting some therapy today and the massage and stuff, I'm really stiff. So uh, I think I'm just going to lie down and have a beer or something. But anyway, uh, <laughs> despite that, uh, progress has been made uh, in the cow stall area, uh, the future workshop, and the feeding troughs that were here, which are really kind of massive, have uh, all been removed. And uh, this is really handy, actually, because uh, at the end that I'm at here, um, we're going to get water pipe coming in, uh, water supply coming in this end and it means that then where this trough was and uh, there's only bits of concrete kind of underfloor to remove um, we can basically bury a water pipe here and uh, up to this end which is where I'd like to have a sink and a kind of a brewing area and uh, this part here where the big hilti is uh, the, these floor tiles are going to be removed and probably remove the floor completely there and re-pour and this would be an ideal opportunity then to lay um, the drainage pipes basically to go out through under the wall and into the uh, sewage system. Uh, so that, that would work out pretty well and it'd be a good use of time. I'm still debating whether or not we should uh, remove the, the floor completely. So it's some fairly good nick, it's just the slope is bothering me and uh, the, the drain there. But we can retrofit that drain with uh, something more modern. Uh, with a, a grill on top of it so that uh, yeah, it's nothing to trip over and uh, maybe it makes it a little bit narrower. Um, so that's one option anyway. So yeah, plenty of progress made. Uh, I have to just have to decide what to do with the rest of it. Uh, the other things that we want to do is to basically empty the place out and then hire a big compressor and then sandblast the walls to get all that uh, kind of lime wash and paint and whatever the hell's on it. Um, I'm very tempted if we get a big compressor, if there's a jackhammer with it, uh, <laughs> that'd be a good opportunity to take up the floor. But uh, as I said, there's other things that are more pressing, I'd say, at the moment. Uh, just in terms of all the stuff we got out, uh, we filled a, quite a large container, so I don't know, there's quite a few tons in there. And um, I might have mentioned in earlier videos that under the, uh, under the feeding troughs were lots of these uh, big limestone blocks so maybe just give an idea of scale uh, most of them are faced somehow and uh, well here maybe here's a better example uh, lots of small ones here but uh, bigger ones as well so it looks like they came from something um, there was a barn here before that was demolished and uh, it was also as I mentioned in an earlier video uh, these uh, terraces for uh, for vineyards were definitely around here and uh, I don't know if they came from some, something like that, but they've been worked anyway, and they've got at least one uh, well uh, kind of shaped face on most of them. And then this is really cool <coughs> underneath the big uh, trough for the horse with these sandstone blocks, and they looked like they were a broken lintel. And I was kind of hoping that they might have been the lintel from the, uh, from the door on the second from the left there. The original door sandstone frames were removed. And uh, I was really curious if uh, if that was the remains of them and if we'd find a date um, on top of it. But no, they look like they're from something bigger, all right, but they're uh, uh, not, not what I was looking for. Anyway, they're nice big blocks and uh, well-shaped and uh, all of these will get reused in the garden somewhere. So yeah, uh, that's kind of it for now. The stuff is out and uh, I've already said next steps to do here. Uh, but I might make a pause on this and do some lighter work in the house. So the beer cellar has to be done and that's just scraping stuff off the walls, cleaning the walls. So I might just start doing that tomorrow, Saturday. Saturday's always a good day to get stuff done. So yeah, progress despite delays, but upwards and onwards. <laughs>